Obviously, the big controversy now is uh, the groove issue and, and certain clubs on the tour. What, what's your uh, feeling on that? Well, I tell you, it's uh, it's been a touchy subject for such a long time. But when when uh, Karsten has sued the RNA and the USGA, which are the two governing bodies of golf, I I'm very much against that because um, if he does happen to win, I'm not saying if he's right or wrong. He might be right, but if he happens to win a suit like that, it'll destroy golf. And we have been fortunate to stay out of the courts for a, a number of years or ever, forever, and where other sports live their life in, in the courtroom. So, uh, you know, I just uh, I can't be in favor of the man and ping clubs and Karsten Company right now. It's uh, it's not good for golf. Um, and like I said, if he happened to win the suit, it would be terrible. So I use the putter simply because I th it's good for me. I, and that's a very selfish reason. Mm -hmm. I certainly don't want to, uh, at this point in time, really, you know, promote anything, you know, with his name on it. To be quite honest. Do you groove is unfair? Is that basically your feeling? Well, no, I really don't know, and I really think that that has been over exaggerated in the last two or three years. Um, I don't think it makes as much difference as some people say. Um, but again, uh, Karsten could be, you know, could be right in this situation. But I just don't think suing the two governing bodies in the game of golf is the way to go. And like I said, I just don't think anybody's going to be the winners here. You know, the lawyers are the winners. <laughs> How do you feel about your game? A uh, million dollars in one year—that's uh, pretty tough to beat. Well, I, I uh, have been playing decent. I, I don't know what it has been wrong. I've just been playing kind of adequate and some good and some bad. But it's at the end of the year, too. It's, it's been a long year, and we've been traveling a lot. And uh, I think that has a lot to do with it, kind of a pathetic attitude, really. Uh, you know, I'm ready for the first of the year to come back. And, and, you know, whenever, I don't care if you've been playing a lot of golf or not, when January 1 rolls around, you're ready for the new year and to start over and, and get going again. Let me ask you about that. A lot of the players have said, getting back to the groove issue, that it's kind of equalized the game. A lot more people can win because of it. Come January, there won't be any of those clubs. Is that going to be, make a difference, you think? I really don't. I'm, I'm of the opinion that I think it's all been exaggerated. Uh, I think, actually, the metal woods help you more than the ping square grooves. But uh, uh, we'll see. You know what I hope? I hope the guys who have been using the square grooves play well so nobody gets blamed for anything. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Okay. Yeah, good luck here.